didn't hear the thing go off that tells me that it's filming. <laughs> uh, probably because I have it on uh, vibrate, the volume, so it's not going to do this little ding ding to let me know that uh, it's recording. Anyways, me and hubby took a couple of our cars to get uh, washed, took them to the car wash, and uh, 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 sorry about that. Um, here's the section of, uh, of this valley that I didn't get the last time I was through here, so I'm like, I am so recording this today. So you can see how gorgeous it is. I hope the sunshine doesn't distort it too much, you know, the glare and stuff. But uh, we're on our way home, so I thought I would uh, get this on here because it is so gorgeous through here. It's, it's awesome. And probably the video won't do it justice, but it'll give you an idea of how nice it is. All the leaves are turning. Beautiful fall day again. I'll be stopping this in a little bit because uh, my hand is getting tired of holding it. And we're coming to the end of the, the real beautiful part anyways. So, I will get off of here, and I will catch you later. Okay, I'm outside here. We're home, and I have this, I, I throw out our scrap uh, food, and there's a little possum. Not so little, really. Hey, Mr. Possum, or Mrs. Possum. What you doing? Huh? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, apples and stuff. So, yeah, he's going to help himself. He looks, or she, whatever the case may be, is in a little bit of rough shape. Its tail looks like it's been... It's it's moving off. Its tail's messed up. Its tail is messed up. I never know. But... Yeah, he didn't hiss or growl or anything. Just like, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I see his rear end isn't dragging too bad. No, he's okay. And here's Miss Suki that's been gone for days. I saw her, oh, yesterday or the day before across the road where I don't like her to go, but she'll do it anyways. She's our little roamer, and just when I think uh, she's gone forever, boop, she pops up out of nowhere every single time. So today was the day she materialized out of nowhere. Hasuki. Huh, yeah. She's just as lovable as ever. Why do you want to leave, huh? I think I know what it is. Her and Georgia do not get along at all. They despise each other. And uh, I'm thinking that might be why she doesn't uh, come back home for days at a time. And uh, she, I don't know how she stays so clean. I mean, look at her. She, she, not a, a speck of dirt on her. So I have to think that she's finding some really nice shelter somewhere. <laughs> or somebody's taking her in. She Maybe she has a few different homes in the area. I don't know. But uh, she's a sweetie. I'd miss her if she never came back. I don't want anything happening to her. She, we've had her for six years. Huh, baby? Well, six years... Yeah, six years this month. Yep. So she's a little over six years old. Tough kitty. Okay, here is the warehouse salvage store that I go to. Isn't it cool? So much stuff. Toys. 
This and that whole wall is food. I mean, it's so cool. Look at all the goodies. So I'm going to continue to shop. There's hardly anybody in here. It's fantastic because it's, well, it's a Thursday morning. But uh, yeah, tons and tons of stuff. And this is what I came home with from that warehouse salvage store. This is a bag full of uh, <laughs> 23 cans of cat food. And it's, uh, they were only 25 cents a can. It's a very good, this is the kind of cat food I get in the dry normally, I, uh, but I never get it in the can, but hey, 25 cents a piece. Four cats to feed, that'll last a while. And uh, got uh, some beef broth. That's the only container they had. I wish they would add more, but you just never know. And this is the last of the Atkins bars that they had, so I grabbed that. And uh, vanilla chip, organic uh, chewy granola bars would be good for Ken's lunchbox. And a chocolate chip. I had to have some more. I haven't eaten all that I got last time, but while they have it, I figured I'd get it um, 85 and 90%. I couldn't make up my mind which one to get, so I got both. And a huge bag, 42 ounces. That's, what, three and a half pounds of peanut M&Ms for four bucks. I'm pretty sure they're about 10 bucks at Walmart. Yeah, so uh, Ken will be happy about that. I put a handful of those in his lunchbox just to give him a little treat. And then they had vanilla biscotti coffee. Yummy. I wish they would have chocolate, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. So uh, then they, uh, you know, tis the season. I've been sneezing today, so um, I got some uh, this airborne dual action and I forgot but they they are having an orange tag sale and anything with an orange tag is half off so I only paid a buck for this and the same with uh, the toothpaste instead of a buck it was only 50 cents so I got a couple of these I'm bummed because these are like more like trial size or whatever but it was the only size they had so and that we really like the Sensodyne and they had the we like Tom's too because it's more natural and uh, it's, it was only a buck for a full tube it was the only one they had too so I grabbed it and also you know it is the season to be sneezing um, got some emergency tangerine and then um, super orange and this one has a little bit more uh, vitamins and stuff in it specifically for your immune system so it's slightly different from this one but this is the only one they had of the immune support one. All the rest of them were the plain emergency in different flavors that I really didn't care for. So tangerine and orange were the winners for, for us. So that's my, uh, that's my bounty today. I tell you what, uh, these salvage stores uh, are addicting. Once you start going and finding these deals, you can't help but go back back to see if they have any more <laughs> and it's always different they're, they're getting a fresh load in tomorrow and they were well stocked today but tomorrow they're supposed to get even more stuff in and it's going to be all that i can do to resist from going back <laughs> ay, ay, ay. i'm hopeless